Hi everyone, I'm Frances Martel and I'm the international editor at Breitbart News. On November 19th, Argentine stunned the world by electing their first ever libertarian president, Javier Millet. But what it means to be a libertarian in Argentina and how we would understand Millet's policies here in the United States can get a little lost in translation. I'd like to talk a little bit about three very important words, libertarian, liberal, and populist, and how they differ in use in the United States versus in much of Latin America. In Latin America, a libertario is pretty much what you would find in the United States if you looked for the local libertarian parties. They are people who believe that the government's power should be as limited as possible and that private property and free trade are paramount. The big difference is in foreign policy. While many American libertarians believe that it is not the government's place to tell you whether it's moral or not to deal with governments that engage in human rights crimes, Javier Millet has very openly said he will not pursue trade relations with China or with any communist, socialist, or otherwise authoritarian country because, he says, we have to stay on the, quote, civilized side of life. Now, he's not going to arrest anyone for doing business with China or Russia or any other government, but he said he is going to actively dissuade both the general public from committing trade with these countries and that he is not pursuing increased trade with them as a government. Now, the word liberal is a little more tricky. A liberal in the United States is someone on the left side of the spectrum, someone who believes in big government and social liberalism. In Argentina, a liberal is a classical liberal, is someone who believes in smaller government, who can be conservative, um, and is definitely not uh, in any way socialist or big government as far as their belief in how much money and investment should go into that government. So Javier Millet openly describes himself as liberal and says that Argentina won't have a future if it isn't liberal. He is not talking about the kind of liberal you would find in San Francisco. He is talking about right-wing, small government, uh, libertarian conservatism. The third word I'd like to talk about is populist. In the United States, a populist is someone who opposes elitism, who believes that the average person has a stake in running their government and should be served by their government rather than the other way around. In Latin America, the word populism is associated with left-wing tyrants like Hugo Chavez, um, and even like Juan Perón, who is not necessarily right or left, but only really believed in staying in power for his own personal gain. And so Javier Millet has said very openly, I am not a populist, and he had described his opposition, the socialist Peronist opposition, as populist. But he is talking about having a cult of personality with no real ideology rather than defining populism against elitism the way that we would here today. So I hope this clarifies a little bit how these words are used, how they translate, and what exactly it means to be a liberal versus a liberal. Uh, I hope you keep tuning into Breitbart News for updates on this and many other important international events. And thank you so much for your time.